Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking everyone micro shelling. Um, so we're here at the beach right now, it's a beautiful day and we're going to see what micro shells we can find. The first thing I'm seeing when I'm coming down the steps is look at all that sludge. It stinks as well, look at it. It's never like that. It's normally all sand and rock, but look at that, wow. We haven't been here in a little bit and yeah, it wasn't like this last time we came. Let's get close and see what it actually is. It's all seaweedy, gross sea stuff. And it's thick and it's covering it all and it kind of smells a bit funky. But I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it's gonna affect us too much. I can see a few little piles around here that we can have a look at and see what we can find. Now, first thing, I just sat down here to have a look and see, I can see some red coral, but something over here caught my eye. Can you see it? A big wentil trap. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Wowee. First thing, literally, I just sat down, five second look around, and I spot that straight up. Woohoo, that's nice. Now, that was pretty cool. So I just found that one there, and then I did just spot this little crab here. I think it's a molt. Jono loves to collect these, and he puts them on our table in our house with all the cool finds. Look at its purple little pinches. Beautiful pan. I think it's, has it got all its legs? Yeah, it's got all its legs. I'll keep that and we'll see what Jono says when we go home. Nice little guy. Pop him in there. All safe. What else can we find here? I can see a little cone shell. Bit old. I love these. I'm not really sure on the name of them, but they're, I think they're quite cool and quite pretty. And they can maybe make them into some jewellery as well. It's cool. We've got lots of red coral around. They're always a favourite. That's a pretty nice one there. Nice and bright. There's quite a bit of shells around today, which is quite nice. Let's see what else we can spot in here. Anything else? Mm, don't think so. Let's have a look in this little patch here. Oh, I'm actually in the sun. Let me turn around. Alrighty, can we see anything in here, guys? Let me know in the comments. I'll be won't be here when the video goes up, but let me know what I missed. It's a nice little one there, colour. What else can we see? Anything in here? Hmm. Turn the camera off, but then straight away I saw a bean. That's a big bean too, wow. It's quite a nice one there. Nice white colour. It's nice, we'll keep that. Chuck that in my little case. What else can we see? Literally, the second I turn off the camera, I just spotted it. But there's another, what's that? I don't know what that is. We'll get that out because it's a bit of plastic. But another one of these, I'm pretty sure they're called pheasant shells. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the name of them. What's that? I see something spiral there. Oh, it's broken. What else can we see? I can see a little Mitra here. They're a classic here, but they are quite nice. We'll keep that one. We love to get as many cool little micro shells that we get because we fill up these tiny little bottles. Um, Joan did a video the other week and you can go and watch that one of filling up all the bottles. It's quite fun to do while looking. See how many we can get. It's surprising how many actually fit in the bottles. So we actually have to get quite a lot. That's all right and we, we enjoy it. It's a bit of fun. All right, up to my next spot here now. I can see a few little things in here. First up, got a little bit of a bigger pheasant shell there. Pretty pink and orange colors. And I can see a little Mitra there, different color to the one we found before. It's quite nice patterned. Now I saw another, what did I see? They always get away from you. You look at them and you can see them one second and the next they're gone again. Where did it go? Oh, there's another pheasant shell anyway, but I can't seem to see it there. Oh, what's that? Oh, that looked like a wentil trap from the shop, from the top of it, but that's not, but that's still cool. That's different. Let me know what that one's called. I'm not too sure of the name of that one, but that's quite a nice little spirally one. John always loves the different names that I give the shells that I don't know. <laughs> Just whatever they look like, that's the name that they get. <laughs> there's that one, another Mitra there bit more of a oh sorry about my filming I'm still learning a um, bit darker one there 
quite nice. Ooh, let me put that in my box, there we go. And all of our classic ones, so more of these guys. There's a little half of a spiky boy. It's quite nice. Put them in my container. I don't know if I can see anything else there. Have a little section of shells that are in water. Let's see if you can see anything in this one. See a little mixture there, is it whole? Oh it is. Nice. I love the pattern on those ones. See another pheasant in there. It's quite nice. Pink, light pink colours for that one. See so the pattern on them are so cool and also unique. They're quite beautiful those shells. What else can we see? I try not to find too much of the same ones. Because they they are quite around a lot, but they're just so beautiful. We have this little guy here. It's quite a nice little shell. Let's see. Oh, that would have been a big one. Wow. Shame it's a broken piece. Anything in that little pile? That's something different. Oh, oh it's broken though. That's quite nice. Let's see. It's not too hot now. It's meant to be um, getting up to 32 degrees today. Just quite hot with high humidity, but came at a good time where it has slightly cooled off a bit. You can see the water there, it's quite brown and mushy. Doesn't look too nice for a swim, but it's made good conditions for shelling. Here's some of the things we found so far. Setting up here, to, I put my case there because I was going to look in that little hole here. And then I looked down here and I spotted something pretty cool. Can you see it? Wow. It's like hiding up in here all the way from the waves and the water. <gasps> nice. That's nice. Wow. Joan normally finds really big ones of these or really small ones. The small ones never make it home in one piece because they're so fragile. Wow. <gasps> That's cool. i surprised it's not broken. The colour is so pretty. Wow. Look at that. Yay. It's exciting. <laughs> Let's have a look in here now, after finding that cool shell. Let's see what we can see in here. Oh, first up, that's quite nice. Wow, look at that. Look at the colour on it, the tip. Like a nice bluey purple colour. Slight pattern to it, that's really nice. We'll keep that one for sure. What else can we see in here? Anything exciting? Oh, I see another picture, that's one of the stripy ones. I quite like these ones. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> there we go. Focus, there we are. Wow, look at that. Very nice. Is there anything else in here? Sometimes we hit um, good stuff in here, other times not really. It's definitely filled up a lot more since we've last been in here. There's a tiny bit of sea glass. We find at least one piece of sea glass each time we come recently. Could I make a little art piece or something out of it? Spot another little Mitra down there. It's quite nice, dark coloured one. One of these guys. I know they're quite common, but I do like the pattern on them. They're very nice, so we'll keep them. Next up, I can spot a few little cool things in here. First up, looks a bit beaten on the top, but it's a nice little cowrie. Very good, just a little one. Then we also have, what else do I see? This one, I'm not really sure what that is, but I think it's quite cool looking. The shape of it, it's very nice. And then I spot, I'm pretty sure these are called auger shells. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a bit broken, but I do love the little, like the very light pink colouring to them. They're quite nice. Again, we've got lots of bright red coral in here. That's always so pretty. The little pieces. I think that's all I can spot in that little one there. I think we've got some more pheasant shells in here. Pink and orange coloured ones. Always beautiful. Oh, he's a bit beat up. That one, I'll leave that one. <gasps> that oh that's cool what type is that i have to see with Jono but 
very nice carry. It's a bit better condition than the last one we just found. But that's quite nice. Something pretty cool in here. I'm not sure if it is anything or if it's just a rock that looks like something cool. But it's got like a quite little spirally pattern there on the side of it. It could be an operculum. I don't know, but it just looks cool. I'd say it's an operculum. Look at that. And I also spotted another pheasant shell in there. That's quite a big one actually. Wow, it's a nice one. It's got a bit of a greeny orange tint to it. Let's have a look what we've found so far. Yeah, we found some pretty cool stuff so far today. That's definitely cool. Ooh, I just heard a noise. I'm still getting used to filming out in public, so it's scary when I see people walk past, but we'll get there. <laughs> we've got our cool urchin there. That's definitely one of my favorites. Where's my winter trap gone? Oh, there. Oh, got a lot of them. <laughs> That's cool. I love that. Put my favorites in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the bean as well. Such a big bean. Let's keep looking. Wowie, guys. <gasps> Look at that. That's huge. Oh, dang it. It's broken. That's so sad. But that is the biggest one I've ever found. Wow. Look at that. That is so cool. <gasps> wow. I just quickly looked down in here and then I just saw it. So huge. Wow. That's nice. Playing some cool things today. It's a bummer that's broken, but that's all right. At least it's but still main shape of it intact, so I'll keep that one. All right, I've got a pretty cool little area here that I'm looking through currently, and I've spotted a few cool things. First up, I'm not sure what it is, which is the saying of the year right now. I'm not sure what it is, but <laughs> but we have this cool guy. I'm not sure if he's broken or that's how he's meant to look, but I think he looks pretty cool. I also spotted a little carry in here. That's quite nice. Classic carry. They're common here, but they are quite cool looking. Uh, anything else that we can see? Got another one of these guys. They're always cool. Got quite a lot of like, red coral in there. But not sure if there's much too else in there. Oh, there is. That pattern's quite nice. Oh, it's broken. We won't keep that one. Why, Mr. Krabby Crab in there? Hello. Now, I've spotted this guy here. Look how nice that is. Oh, it's whole. Oh, wow. That's cool. Look at that pattern and that color. Isn't that beautiful? And it's cool that it's full hole. I don't think there's anything in it, though. No, that's quite nice. Wow. These guys are quite cool. Got like little white bubbles on the back of them. They're just little, but the detail that's on them is so pretty. It's so nice. Let's see here. The color in that one, holy. Wow, that's beautiful. It's so pink. It's fragile, so pretty. Hey. Have another little mixture. Oh, it's a bit funny that one. What else? Broken one. Let's have a look over here and see what we can find. Anything in here? Oh, the grip. Oh, there's another, another little one. We're finding lots of these today. These are everywhere, but they're just so cool. They come in all different colors and shapes and patterns. Chuck that in there. Here's everything we've found so far. Found quite a bit today, which is nice. Let's see. Let's have a look over here. It's always in these little areas with the rocks and everything that they can get stuck in and that's where we normally find a lot of the good stuff. Let's have a look here. Anything? Some more red coral there. It's broken that one. Oh, there's another piece of sea glass I can see there. Just a little, oh, right there. Mm. On its way to being sea glass, it's not fully yet though, so I'll leave that one there. Actually, no, I'll take that because I don't want anyone stepping on it. <laughs> Let's see. I think that's going to be it for today. The sun's coming out and getting a bit more hotter. 
but I'll show you what my top finds were for today. First up, the first find that we got when we got onto the beach was this beautiful little wentle trap. Isn't that cool? So beautiful, good size too. Got the little bean cowrie. This one, this one was crazy. Beautiful, clean urchin, wow. It's nice. A sadly broken bubble shell, but the size of it's just so nice. And then Mr. Crabs, our crab malt. Isn't that cool? With his purple pinches. All right, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. Comment down below where you're from and comment down below which was your favorite find of today. I'll show you in the case as well. But yeah, have a lovely day and thank you for watching everyone. Bye.